The next stage of what we're going to talk about uh, with WordPress uh, are the plugins. Okay. Now you'll see the plugins for WordPress. There are 29,833 plugins. And what plugins allow you to do is it allows you to extend WordPress uh, to do a, a variety of different things. Okay. Now, with with plugins, you can uh, there, there's plugins for um, uh, adding YouTube videos. There's plugins for um, managing your, your Google site maps for, for Google Analytics. There's plugins for uh, forms management. Um, and what it does is basically you get a, when you install WordPress, you get all the basics installed. Okay. And then what you do is you extend it to do the other the other things that you want to do. Now, if you look inside uh, the website uh, that we're using now uh, for for this for this tu for this tutorial, you'll see that I've ad added an, a, a number of plugins like Woo Dojo for team members, for projects, for testimonials, for slides, for forms. And there's a few others in there as well. And a lot, of, some of them just work in the back end, like WordPress uh, SEO for search engine optimization. Um, and some, there's some very good ones. But what you've got to be very careful of is that you, the plugins that you use are only the ones that you need. You don't add plugins for all the little things because what plugins can do is they can slow down your site quite considerably. Okay, and and if you don't select plugins correctly, they can conflict with other things. Now, um, it's very easy to, to, to see a, a plugin that's, that's updated continuously uh, and popular. When you first come here, you'll see some of the most popular ones. I mean, a Kismet, for instance, is a plugin that, that gives spam protection on your website for comments, for people making comments on your website. And you'll notice there, if I click on this, you'll see the important things here. What the compatibility is, when it was last updated, and how many downloads it's had. Okay, now Akismet is well supported and it's a very basic plugin, so it doesn't need a lot of updates. But you'll find that some other plugins you'll see, um, for instance, this one was updated last week or the week before last. Okay, and you'll see the compatibility. If if a plugin is not compatible up to say 3.6 or 3.7 of WordPress, you do not want to use it. Okay. The reason for that is it, it, it's not, it, it probably isn't compatible with the current version, okay? Another reason is, is that it, it can conflict with other plugins. Um, so you only ever want to use plugins that are well supported, have a, 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 a proven track record, which means it's been, a, it's been around for quite a while. So you can see in the change log of all the different updates, that have been done. I mean, some of these can go on for a long, long time, but they're, they're the most important things. Okay. So I'm going to give you an example of a plugin that we use uh, on, on nearly all of our sites. And it's a, and, and, and this example is, is a new thing that's been happening for the past few years, which is premium plugins, which are plugins that you pay for. Now there's some good reason to do that is popular plugins. Uh, even if they're free plugins on WordPress, Sometimes the, the, the people who make it um, don't make any money out of it, and sometimes they just let them go and just stop stop developing for them, okay? And um, and so, you know, for a few dollars a year, sometimes it's worthwhile paying for it because you're, you're supporting the developer and you're knowing that they're going to continue because the more they sell, the more money they make, the more money they make, the more money they want to make, so they continually upgrade it. But here's an example of a premium plug-in uh, for WordPress and it's called Gravity Forms. Now we've got a developer license for this, which allows us to to sell it to uh, all of our uh, to install it for all of our clients, and we do that for pretty much every single client. Um, and you can see that this creates forms that you can embed on your website. Okay, so you can create multi-page forms. You can edit the forms and drag and drop all the different features you want um, and things like that. So. Uh, and it also integrates with some other things where you can accept some payments online from like PayPal, it, just for basic things like a, an annual fee or something like that. Um, but it, it can, it, it, it does have uh, some great examples. Um, and uh, and here's, a, here's an example here um, of Gravity Forms. I'm going to show you the back end so you can actually see, see the actual 
software in action. So if I click on here, I haven't created a form for this for this site yet, but I can show you exactly how I create one. Is I create a new form, I give it a title, contact, I'm going to only show you some very basic things with the, with the software now, but it basically gives you an idea of, of how you can start off your form. So what I do is I want to start my form off with the person's name. I click on the name and you'll see it automatically will appear here. And then I can do some things like make that a required field for people to fill in. I can then put in, um, I can say I want their phone number. I can then make that an international number instead of just a US number. Um, email address, just click on that, make it a required field. I can also, uh, I can do things like um, a drop down, so people have to select first choice um, products, second choice services, third choice general, and I can make that the default one there and make that required. And then a final field is a paragraph text, like the message. Now, they can do, this can do a, a lot more than this, uh, including multi-file uploads and things like that. Um, something as simple as that. And then I can update the form. And I've basically just created a form. And now with that form, is I can go to the pages, and I can go to uh, so I can create a new page called or I've got a page called Contact. I edit that page, and you'll see with this plugin it adds a button here, so I can just select where I want the form to go, insert that form, update the page, and you'll see now that page has a contact form. Look at that. Now you want to choose a theme if you're going to use these plugins that is compatible with Gravity Forms. So most of them are these days uh, because it's such a, a popular plugin. Okay, but there you can see you can see how someone can fill in a form and then submit the form, and that form will go to my email address. Um, with the forms, you can also have uh, the the forms um, with notifications uh, on who who it gets sent to. At the moment, it gets sent to the administrator of the website. But you can change the from name and, 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 and the reply to, email address, all that sort of stuff. You can, you can do all that in the back end. You can also have uh, when uh, send confirmation notices that when somebody sends, it, uh, sends a form, it, gets, uh, it sends them an email saying thank you for submitting the form, uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Uh, you can even have a, 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 a link to download if you're giving something away free uh, inside that confirmation. So that's an overview of what plugins can do um, and a brief overview of uh, Gravity Forms. But just remember, let's recap. Uh, the for, uh, plugins allow for you to extend the capabilities of your website to, to have other things, other features, other, over, and over and above the, the initial um, WordPress install. And some of them, like team members, allowing you to add, add and display team members on your website, projects for pro, uh, for uh, new for a history of all your projects that you've worked on, testimonials from uh, from people. These are all plugins, and you'll see them here in the plugins directory of, of the website where they've been installed. Um, so you can see all the different plugins that have been created. Okay, so that's an overview of uh, of plugins for WordPress.